All of our fly tying videos are linked to BoiseAnglers.com. Start by securing your thread behind the eye, clip off the excess thread, and then bring your thread all the way back to the bend of the hook. This is where we will attach the tail of our mouse. Take a piece of brown straight cut rabbit strip, separate a little tuft of fur on the end of the rabbit strip, and then clip off the rest. Flip over the rabbit strip so that the hide is up and the fur is down. We want our tail to be a little bit longer than the shank of the hook. Secure down the tail. Once the tail is secure, we will then break off some of the guard hairs on the back tuft of the tail to help even out all the hairs. Take a quarter inch strip of brown closed cell foam, cut angles at the end of it so you have a narrow tie in spot, and tie it in at the bend of the hook. Make sure it goes all the way back to where we tied in our tail. Take a small strip of brown foam and tie it in near the eye of the hook. Place your thread wraps over the top of it on back toward the bend of the hook. Clip off the excess. What this will do is help build up our body a little bit and give our mouse a wider profile and add extra flotation to our fly. Now take a piece of brown straight cut rabbit, strip off a few fibers on the end. This will give us a clean tie in spot. So we are just wrapping on the leather. Once our rabbit strip is secure, we bring our thread forward to about an eye's length behind the eye. We will now begin wrapping our rabbit strip. Place each wrap in front of the last. Take time to pull back some of the hairs after each wrap. Once we have brought the rabbit strip up to where our thread is, we will take our scissors, split some of the hair so we have a clean tie-in spot, and secure the rabbit strip. Once the rabbit strip is secure, clip off the excess. A few extra security wraps will help hold everything in place. Next, take your scissors and run them down the shank of the hook so that we can split the rabbit hairs. We will pull some to each side. Once we think we have an even amount of rabbit hair on each side, we will then take a little bit of zappa gap on the back of the foam and pull it over the top. This super glue will help hold the foam to the top of the fly in case any sharp fish teeth disconnect the foam from the back of the fly. Secure the strip of foam behind the eye of the hook. Now pull the strip of foam back over the top of the fly, leave some excess in front of the eye, and pinch that. Secure down the foam at this spot, and then clip off the excess foam that hangs out past the end of the fly. Whip finish just behind the eye but underneath the foam and then clip off the excess thread. This loop of foam hanging off the end of the eye will help this mouse swim just like the real thing. Apply some zappa gap to the top of the foam, pull the foam strip back on top and use your fingers to help glue the foam together. This may take 15 to 30 seconds for the super glue to set up.
Once the super glue has fully set up, we will then take our scissors and cut angles on each side of the foam just to round things out a little bit better. You then have the Rydare mouse.